It's an important job that only a four legged employee can do, and it's led to multiple people being charged with crimes here in Southern Arizona. In this week's Crime Files, we introduce you to Zona, the dog that is literally sniffing out crime. We've shown you countless scenes like this, where law enforcement raids a home and finds items leading to an arrest for child exploitation. But to build a case, officers need to gather all the electronic evidence they can find. That's where Zona comes in. Yes, show me. Yes, good girl. She was the first electronic detection canine in Arizona, helping officers find devices with her nose. Zona is an electronic storage device detection canine, and she is trained to indicate on the presence of a unique chemical compound that's sprayed in the manufacturing process of all electronic devices that store memory. So anything is basically trying to help prevent it from overheating. Zona was actually a service animal trainee failure. She just had too much drive, but that's what made her perfect for this job with the Tucson Police Department. Zona and her handler, Gail Warren, have already been instrumental in combating child exploitation and human trafficking in Southern Arizona. So we primarily respond with the Internet Crimes Against Children on search warrants. And so when we, they go to a service search warrant, we bring Zona in and do a secondary sweep of the house with her searching for the specific chemical odor. So we respond with ICAC is our Internet Crimes Against Children. We respond with them, do that search, and she found hidden devices that contained over 600 images of child exploitation material. We put Zona to the test, hiding our camera in a bush to see if she would alert Warren. And sure enough, show me, show me. Yes, good girl. Good girl, Zona, good girl. Yes, good dog. She found it easily. While our camera is large and pretty easy to spot, Zona has proven that she excels where humans cannot. So at nearly every search warrant, Zona finds something that we missed. Now, it's not always helpful. Sometimes, like I said, it's a smart watch, and we're like, well, we're not going to get a lot from that. Or maybe it's a tile or air tag hanging on a, you know, on a keychain. But we also have had very, uh, several cases where she's found things that we would have missed that contain valuable information. The two-and-a-half-year-old English Labrador is rewarded with food and knows when the pouch goes on, it's time to go to work. It's incredible. Yeah, we're 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 on a mission. Yeah, I would do digital forensics and I primary an, primarily analyze child exploitation cases anyway, and adding Zona to that mix just allows us to kind of keep serving that mission. We kind of just say one at a time. You know, you can't catch them all at one time. So we just one at a time. We're going out and having Zona as this tool is amazing that, you know, we can find things that, you know, we may have missed in the past. Zona was brought here by a grant from Operation Underground, and while she technically works for TPD, she is used by agencies throughout Southern Arizona. And if you're wondering, yes, she goes home with her handler every night who tells me she's just a normal, playful dog once she gets home.